Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 9 Algebraic Expressions, Lesson 4. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Important conventions. In mathematics, people, we follow certain conventions internationally. Like x plus x can be written as 2x because it is repeated addition and can be shortened. X times x times x times x can be written as x to the power 4 because we use the exponential laws to add the exponents. x divided by y is rather written as x over y because we prefer the fractional form. For x instead of x4, we prefer to write the number before the letter. x and not 1x, y, negative y and not negative 1x. We, we have no need to show the 1. 6xyz and we don't write 6zxy. We prefer to arrange it alphabetically. A plus B is equal to A plus B and not AB. Because remember, they are unlike terms and you cannot add them. Right, choose the correct answer. So 5y or y5? We prefer 5y. x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x squared. Or x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x to the power 4. Which one is correct? The first one is correct, remember? Because the next one is wrong. Minus x into 3x plus 1 is equal to minus 3x plus 1, or is it minus 3x minus 1? It is the second one, because remember, you must distribute the x into both the 3x and the 1. Let's look at the laws of exponents. Products of powers, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Of course, a must be greater than 0. Example, x to the power 6 is the same as x to the power 2 plus 4, or 3 plus 3, or 1 plus 5. Quotient powers, if you divide, we subtract the exponents. So it's a to the power m minus n. And we prefer to subtract the smaller exponent from the bigger one, like a to the power 10. You have a to the power 6 is a to the power 10 minus 6, which is a to the power 4. Raising a power to a power, like a to the m to the power n, then you multiply the two exponents. So it's a to the power m n. Example, x to the power 6 is the same as x cubed times x cubed. Raising a product to a power, like a times t to the power n, then you must distribute the n to both the a and the t. Like 3c squared will become 3 squared times c squared. And of course, 3 squared is 9. Multiplication, multiply monomials, like 5x squared y times minus 2x over 5y squared. Remember, although they are unlike terms, we are allowed to multiply them. So it is positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Then x squared times x to the power 5 is x to the power 7. y times y squared is y to the power of 3. Multiply integers with a binomial. So negative 5 times a is negative 5a. Negative 5 times 2b is negative 10b. Multiply monomials with a trinomial. 5a times 3a is 15a squared. 5a times 8b is 40ab. And 5a times negative c is negative 5ac. Simplify. Negative 3r cubed times negative r times 5r squared. You multiply two negatives, so it becomes a positive. And 3 times 5 is 15. Then, of course, you add the exponents of all three the r's. It gives you r power 6. Negative 3 times 5x is negative 15x squared. Negative 3x times 11. Negative 11 is positive 33x. Number 3. 10 times 6x cubed y is 60x cubed y. 10 times 7 is negative 70x squared y. And 10 times 12 is negative 120x. Let's do some division. Let's divide monomials. 15a divided by, by, divided by 3b. So 3 goes to 15 5 times. And of course, the answer is therefore 5a over b. Divide binomials. Now be careful here. Do not cancel. Because when you have more than one term in either the numerator or the denominator, you are not allowed to cancel. So please, you must either divide 14x squared into both the terms or you must try factorization. So if I divide 14x into both the terms, I get x plus a half. The same with trinomials. Please do not cancel. You need to divide 4xy into all three terms individually and then 
simplify your problem. Let's look at the following example. Simplify. Negative 10p squared q to the power 8 over 40p to the power 7 q. Then, of course, the solution is that you will get a positive, a negative 10 divided by a positive 40 will give you a negative. And then, of course, the tens cancel. And then, of course, you subtract the exponents. And the answer is negative p to the power 5, q to the power 7 over 4. Number 2, the same here. We're going to divide 8x cubed by y to the power 10 into all the terms. Right? Remember to first multiply 3x with 2x, 9y to the power 12. First, remove that bracket there. And then divide 8x cubed by 10 into all, or to both of them. Then simplify and you should get 3x power 7, y squared over 4. So the final answer will be 6x to the power 9 minus 3x to the power 7, y squared over 4. Then number 3, the same here. Divide 9x, y squared into all three terms. Then you cancel your like terms. I mean, or your, you, you cancel certain terms which are the same. And therefore, the answer should be x to the power 19 over 3 minus x cubed y squared plus y to the power 7 over 9. Let's look at number 1 there. So you say 5 times p squared is 5p squared. 5 times 3pq is 15pq. And 5 times negative 6q squared is negative 3q squared. Number 2, negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x times 3x is negative 6x squared. Negative 2x times negative 6 is positive 12x. Number 3, again, you divide 3xy into both the terms individually. Then cancel the like terms, and you should get 4x minus 2y. Same with number 4, divide 7 into all three terms, and you should get 2a plus 3b minus 5. Number 5, the same, divide 3pq into all three terms individually. Cancel your like terms, and you should get 3p cubed, q4, minus 2p squared, plus 1. This, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Please give me a huge like, and don't forget to, to subscribe. Subscription is free.